Welcome back to the Getting Started series with Hatch Embroidery Software. Today we're going to talk about resizing designs. The first thing that we will do is to use the quick and easy method of resizing designs by using the icons on your toolbars. Select the design to your preference as you've seen in a previous video. I'm going to select it today by doing Control A, click on my screen to activate. Control A, I know it's all selected because it's all magenta. I'm not in true view. And then I'm going to go up and group it together. The previous video, we talked to you about grouping and ungrouping. I grouped it together. So now anytime I select that design, the whole design is now selected. Notice that I don't see anything about size or resizing at the top. But as soon as I select it, as soon as I've told it, this is what I want to do something with, then it will give me some options for resizing. The quick and easy method is using the toolbars. There's just one click will take it up or down 10%. So if I want to increase the size of it, I will do plus 10%, and it will increase the size 10% of the previous size. If I click on it again, it is going to do 10% of the current size, not the original size. Okay, So it's always plus or minus 10% of the current size of the design. There's another method that we can use. That is by using the exact numbers. If your design is selected, you will see a group of numbers at the top. The one we want to focus on right now is the width and the height. In your width and height, it tells me that I'm 121 millimeters by 104 millimeters. I can go in and type in say 150 millimeters, press enter. Notice, before I press enter, notice that as I press enter, this number for the height is also going to change. It's going to change in proportion. The reason it does is because I have this lock, the proportional scaling lock that is actually pressed in or turned on. So as I press enter on my keyboard, you'll notice that it changes in proportion. If you only want to change the width or the height, then you would untick this so that the lock shows to be unlocked. You can also change by proportion by percentage. So if I want to decrease it to 80% of the size that it is now, I can just highlight it, put in 80%, press the Enter key, and then it will reduce the size 80%. There's several ways that you can resize in the Hatch software, depending on what you need in your end results. The other way to resize, and probably the one that I'll use mostly, is the resizing on screen. Notice that when it is selected, you've heard me talk about these black square boxes called selection handles before. So I am going to just click on one of them and I can move it down or I can move it up. And a lot of times if I'm just going to resize by looking at it, by view, then I will resize on screen. Also a lot of times I will go and turn my true view on or the letter T for shortcut. I will turn my true view on because if I'm resizing just by looking at it, a lot of times I want to see the actual design stitch out, not just the stitches view. First one that I showed you, I clicked on the corner and notice that it resizes it from the corner that I clicked on. If I click on this corner, it's going to resize it from that corner. You will also notice the tool tip that I see on screen that tells me I've resized it 97%. It currently is going to be at at 67, almost 68 millimeters in the width. So that's quite handy too, and generally good enough for me. If I hold the shift key while resizing and go to a corner point, it is going to resize from the center point of that design. If I hold the control key and use one of the sides, it will resize from the side in the direction that I press it. 
If I hold the Shift key and resize, notice that it resizes it in from side to side, but it's resizing it from the center. So the Shift key will resize from the center, and the Control key will allow you to freely resize it depending on which resizing handle that you have selected. So as you can see, I could have this bird, and I could take and make another one over here. And if I wanted him to be a smaller bird, but the same style, I can just resize it. So you could actually resize flowers that way, or a lot of other things that you may have multiple designs of the same design, but you want them a little different. Once you have resized your design, then you want to be sure to save it as your EMB file. I would take this design and I would resave it to a different name. If you remember in the earlier video, I took the main name, I added LG because I knew I was going to enlarge it. And if I've already done that and resized it, now I've added two birds. I might come in and keep the same name but add two onto the end of it to indicate that I have a large version and then I have a second version that will show up right underneath it and I know that it's probably a second version of the large bird with it. So I ended up a lot of times with seven or eight or more different versions of the same design I'm working on. I just find that's a lot easier if I want to go back to one of the previous ones than just going back to the original one and starting over. As you can see, resizing of designs is very simple in Hatch. But you can also see it's very important that you know the basics use of the software and your tools. If you have not gone through the previous lessons in this Getting Started series, let me encourage you to stop right now and go back. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.